Super Hikiyami Moriko Turbo HD Remix. Hello guys, Hikiyami Moriko this, and welcome to another indie game. Uh, this game is called Iridescent Descent, and it's by the same developer um, of another game I, I played that was called um, Loveless on Lockdown. I think the name of the developer is Ilialis. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the name. Um, so, well, let's start again, right? Um, let's go. When I open my eyes, I find myself somewhere strange. What is this place? Have I, rem have I ever been here before? As my eyes wander, I feel fluttering over my back. Wings? Was I always a winged creature? What was I, really, before I arrived here? Cloud. There you are. I've been expecting you. You have a million questions in your mind, don't you? A million sounds about right. Maybe even more. I like the... The choice menu, it's really nice. The music, it sounds really nice. Maybe even more. Then us away. We don't have all day, do we? Um, I don't think who I am is as important as what I am right now. Shouldn't you know that better than I do? Hey, that's that's not an answer, man. Come on. Um, How did I get here? Why don't you remember? You're not answering any of my questions, man. Come on. Uh, am I dreaming? Even if I knew, do you think I tell you the truth? How dare you? <laughs> now we don't need to get personal, do we? Enough of these questions. What is it you truly want from me? I want answers. Answers can be such jealous burgers. Give me a moment to think. Oh, I get it. Have you tried visiting the sound station? Where is it? See? That, that's the sound station. I like that this game has a lot of choices to make. Makes it very, like, uh, engaging. Uh, I turned toward the place that the cloud points out. It is indeed a sound station. Mm, there's a bunch of CDs around here. The sound system is sleek, sophisticated, even. It's the only equipment of its kind. You surely enjoy your excursion. Will I find answers there? Well, I'll learn how to return home. Well, I think this is an answer on itself, so yeah. Why not? Haven't you heard music can transport you places? Um, uh, uh, thanks for your help, I guess. What time is it? I must fly. Oh, I almost forgot. Before I go, care to sample some of my refreshments? What sort of refreshments? How about this? Try one, they are delicious. I know there are some places in the world that people like eat like insects as if as if was nothing, right? Uh, I even seen snacks made out of insects, but no, thank you, not for me. You're not hungry? Why don't you take some treats to go? I'd rather not. Suit yourself. Sorry to let you hang in me there, but I must go. Perhaps we'll meet again, or perhaps not. See you next time. Is this game gonna cycle or something? Alone now I approach the sound station. The cloud called equipment sleek and sophisticated. But what strikes me is how cold these headphones feel. These ones? They are frigid when they lay on my palms. More so when I slot them over my head against my ears. They are dusty too, as it from this use. The player is empty, but the these are displayed above. Which city should I choose? Stream with me? Crawl with me? Well, I don't know how to swim, but I don't like crawling, so I'm gonna go with this one. I take this from the wall and insert it into the player. I then press the play button. I close my eyes. Music swells against my ears and burrows into my brain. What answer can I glean from this? Other messages interwoven into this melody? Is the beat transmitting a secret code I must decipher? In the darkness I can sense the world shifting around me. I should open my eyes, shouldn't I? The sea? Why am I here? Maybe this is a make-believe? But I can taste the breeze. I can smell sulfur in the air, seaweed, driftwood. I can feel waves slapping against my feet. I arrived at this place by closing my eyes, didn't I? Maybe if I do it that again, I can get back. 
Once again, I screw my, ch my eyes shut. <laughs> Will this do the trick? I don't think it's gonna work. I have no earthly idea. All I can do is try. I hope everything makes sense once I open my eyes. Nope. Whoa, what the? By the way, nice, nice soundtrack. Who in the world's five oceans are you, mermaid? Yeah, that's a mermaid, alright. Yeah, it looks about right. Uh, I'm seeking answers. However you are, you must depart at once. These whips are my kingdom, my territory. I don't recall inviting anyone to visit. Especially not a critter like you. I don't mean to intrude. Get out of my sight now. Hey, Shim, come on. This is a command, not a discussion. Well, what are you waiting for? Would you like to count down? Once I finish, I myself will make you disappear. Oh, that, that's that's kind of spooky. I'll grab you with my tail, I won't let go. I'll hold you under water. I'll gut you open if you struggle. I'll watch as your blood mingles with my waters. Come on, chill out. So shall we begin the countdown? 10. Uh, uh, please, I want to go home. I don't know how to return. 9. Uh, I'm not... Yeah, I'm not supposed to hear. This is a misunderstanding. 8. Um, I understand your math. 7. Uh, we can figure this out. 6. Uh, I'll do anything now. No. I'm ready to fight you. What do you want me to do? 5. Uh, spare me? 4. I got to do something. Uh... I don't think I know how to fly, so I'm just gonna run. I try to escape, but my body refuses to cooperate. An unseen force goes my feet to where I stand. Three. Call for help? I shoot at the top of my lungs, but nobody comes. Two. Perhaps I can barter with her. There will be something I can give in a chance for survival. I shall blur off my offer before she says the last number. Wait, let's straight. For my life, I'll give you anything. Wait, let's straight. This is not very interesting enough to interrupt the countdown. What are you planning to give me? Um, <laughs> services? Hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm not good at giving services. So I'm, just, I'm just, just gonna save them. And I'm just gonna... Goods? Very well, this shall be your toll. Pay off and I'll let you leave my realm escape. So what do you have for me? Oh no. I should have gone with services instead. Well. I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna give you my left wing. I went on the of my left wing. Is that it? How about your right wing? I'll keep enough. Uh-oh. You're in a position to refuse. Your impertinence knows no bounds, vile insect. Hey, I really give you one. Come on, man. Or mermaid or whatever. If you want to give me your wing, I'll take it myself. I'll take your body, bread, your consciousness. Everything you own is mine now. Her cloud-like hand reaches towards my shoulder. I howl in agony as she steals my remaining moon from me. Just like that, I'm flightless forever. Blood leaks from the wounds on both my shoulder blades. Without warning, the mermaid gives her tail a violent flick. I'm dead. I can't believe I'm dead nine minutes into the game. Her shimmering scales wrap around my waist. But the grip of her tail only tightens. She drags me into the depths below. Soon, salt water will fill my lungs and blot my face. The mermaid's kingdom will be my grave. Ending one, drowned. Oh, I'm so bad at this game, Jesus Christ. Okay, I usually just... You, you can guys see the credits right now. I usually just play one ending for each game. Uh, to leave someone for you guys to play. But I think this was too short. I'm gonna give it another go after the credits. Yes, I, I, I absolutely don't have enough of this game just yet. Thanks for playing, thank you for making the game. You unlock the extras menu, access it through the main menu. Yeah, but I want to try again. Thankfully, I'm gonna try with services this time because I, I don't feel like giving my wings. Services? You're obviously grasping at sponges. I have no use for servitude from the likes of you. Can you spread gills at will? Or hold your breath long enough to reach my kingdom? I build my throne in the world's deepest trench. Can you manage the journey? I'll do your errands on land. Not good enough. Oh no. Oh 
Okay, it's about the same, but with different. Okay, so services is not enough. And I guess uh, if I try to. So it's goods. Okay, so I have to give both of my wings. I'm sorry, I'm a little sick. Um, thank you for your generosity. Now you want to get off here, don't you? Uh, that's right. Explain to me how you arrived at the full story. So I tell her circumstances of an unexpected journey. Why the solution to your dilemma is simple. You travel here by song. If you stop it, source, you can go back. Are you doubting my judgment now? I'm sick of this circus conversation. Go on, heed my advice. If you manage to leave, don't ever come back. I won't be merciful next time. I understand. I close my eyes and grasp my ears. My fingers search for the headphones that were there before. And my amazement, I succeed in sliding them up. The metal these stops. But I don't have my wings anymore. I'm, ne uh, I'm never playing that city again. I learned my lesson. This trip to the sound station was meant to yield answers, but I ended up accomplishing nothing. I still search for the cloud again. They should pay for providing such awful advice. Where can they be at this moment? Perhaps they are still drifting around the record room, just like before. And there he is. The cloud is indeed drifting around. There you are. I've been expecting you. You have a million questions in your mind, don't you? The cloud then hesitates. We had this conversation before, haven't we? You use the same words. Can you blame me for my confusion? I thought you'd be far, far away by now. Whether at the sea, in the sky, or underground. Why have you returned? Hmm. To give you a piece of my mind. Now, speaking of body parts, I assume you're giving them a portion of yourself. If you keep this up, there's gonna be nothing left. Nothing but air where a body used to be. Uh, what will happen then? Who can say? Well, you can be that person. You can insist on giving yourself away. Now tell- I, I, I see where this game is going. Now tell me. How was your foray to the sound station? A total disaster. Don't be like that. I sent you there with good intentions. And who knows? You might wish to revisit the sound station soon. Sooner than you realize. I want to be where I belong. Do you even know where your home is? Of course I know. So where is it? Hmm. I don't know how to respond. Everything before I walk the record room is a blur. But I do know one thing. I don't belong here. I have to leave this world. Any chance you'll reconsider the sound station? Music is a magical vehicle for touring faraway places. Last time was bad enough. Why? How many of these have you tried? Just one. Only one CD, really? Why surrender soon? Self preservation despair. You can't give up. Not when I have such high hopes for you. I'm telling you now, your next foray will be more fruitful. So, will you give the sun station another shot? Fine, I'll retry. Fear not, I shall supplement your trip this time around. Oh, okay. I, I'm thinking of something. Maybe if I took the, the the insects he offered, maybe I should give those insects instead of my wings, right? That's a possibility, maybe. You know, you should. You, you guys should play this game after watching this video. Uh, what will you give me? You want a fighting chance, don't you? Here's what I have to offer. First, a bottle of bubbles. Can you conceive a more whimsical item? You'll like him blowing them, popping them. Second, some mother of pearl buttons. They are the cheap plastic kind. Wear this and you'll be the picture of luxury. Mm. Mm. I need something of substance. Mm. Hey, I'm giving my valuables away for free. 
What more do you want from me? This is my offer, take it or leave it. Which will you choose? Hmm. I would say I'm going underground, I think. Because it says crawl with me. So I'm gonna take the buttons because I don't think bubbles are that useful down there. Maybe I can use these like coins, right? There you go, a handful of beautiful buttons. The buttons are cool and smooth against my palms. Now I delayed your next journey long enough. May you find your way home. May you find your way home. Uh, whatever that might be. The cloud disappears in a puff of smoke. But I decided to make my way back to the sound station. So here I am once more. There's no way I'm picking swim with me again. I have how more luck crawling. I take that decision put into the player. I press play. I'm actually closing my eyes for a second, so give me a moment to find the music inside me. I shoot my eyes, I let the melody sweep me away. Where will the sound waves carry me this time? What scenery will it cause me when I open my eyes? A tunnel with a with an oil stain on the floor. This sounds spooky enough. Is this where I'm supposed to be crawling? No, the floor is too grimy. There are puddles of oil everywhere. There are too many shadows around me. A murderous monster could attack me from any angle. Luckily, my rival hasn't steered any activity so far. There's nothing here except a spiral shaped shell. You know, Tyson Hughes gleam over its surface. I wish I could reach out. I want to caress the colossal shell. But something makes me think twice. Yeah, it's gonna be like a giant snail or something, right? Maybe it's my recent brush with that beast. So I keep my distance, I keep watch. Slowly a creature unfurls from inside. Oh god. These are some really good monster designs, by the way. What is he? A giant snail? Yeah, he was a giant snail. My eyes, uh, each other were what a very... Should I say something? Will he even understand my language? My words are lodged in my throat. Who are you? I'm obviously not a friend because we don't know each other. A visitor? I'm not in the mindset to meet anybody. Please leave. Uh, the cloud sent me. The cloud? What do they want from me? Wow, this this music is too spooky for... Even for this snail. Uh, are you but conspiring to steal my shell? I'm no thief. You have no designs upon my shell? So you've been sent here to feed me? What for to this timing? I happen to be starving. Why, why everyone wants to eat me? Come on. Um, I'm not here to feed you. Uh oh. And I forgot to save. I can only stare on blinking as his mouth opens wide. And he eats me. The just snapped me up with zero hesitation with a strange dress inside his mouth. I hold in agony as it is singing to me, blood will spill from the holes in my body, darkness will solve me soon enough. Maybe it's death, or maybe it's the coffin that hits his mouth. Either way, nothing matters now. Ending to the power. Oh, I'm so bad at this game. Okay, so... Um, this is a really good game. I... I, I will totally play it. Uh, but... If I play all the game, there's no reason for you guys to play it, so I'm gonna stop now. And I'm gonna play the rest of the game in my free time. Uh, I really recommend you guys try this game, uh, even if I died like two times, the worst time. I knew I should have given him the the buttons, right? I was right taking the buttons, I think, but like you you don't have wiggle room with these monsters, right? You you make the wrong choice, they eat you, and they take your wings. I, I believe I can save my wings, um, giving the the fish, the the insects. Or maybe I take the insects and take the the snail root first, and I give him the the insects, right? And I can save my myself from the I, I can save myself from the snail with the insects, and I come back and I take the the buttons and I offer the buttons to the to the fish, right? That that's how it's supposed to be. I'm thinking that's the solution for this, but you don't have to try uh, to trust me. You should try the game yourself, guys. The link will be down in the description with all the games I have played so far. Excellent game. I really recommend it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next indie game or stream. Good. Bye.